Hi guys, we're here in a very sunny uh, Saturday afternoon at the Nags Head in Reading. Uh, I think it's nagsheadreading.com. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but look for it. Excellent pub. But we've got one there. They've got 12 uh, hand pumps of car scales on, but we've gone for one of their bottle beers, which is uh, in the book. And it is Bruce Zott. Oh, Zott. And, I'm here, and I'm here with Tim Lloyd, Mr. Hello. Tim Lloyd, who has been here before. And I'm here with Mr. Neil Goddard, who Howdy. is a new entrant to uh, the, the beer reviews. Infamous um, beer reviews. <laughs> yes, so Bruges Zott, uh, from, obviously from Belgium, from Bruges. Uh, I've, I've actually had this beer before. I've done the brewery tour. Um, it's a the lovely Hoover beer. Man Brewery. Indeed, yes. So we're mm-hmm. going to... we're gonna um, pick a couple of these. Course, crack on, mate. Crack on. Just two, yeah. That's yes, fine. Please, crack on, mate. Yeah, please no take, no take the seats. Yeah, we're in a pub beer garden. There's many people milling about. So we're going to try the try this beer. Uh, we've got two glasses. We're going to share it between uh, the three of us. Cheers, mate. Thank it's you. It's not really bottle conditioned. <laughs> no, it's not conditioned, is it? Okay. So yeah, all good. So um, that one's got a hell of a mouth. Hell of a head, head, yeah. It's three on, finger head. Three yeah, finger head. That is, yeah. a, that is a three finger head. The other one's only got a one finger head. So, so um, we're we getting off the nose. Well, I, actually, we'll talk about actually. Let's talk about the bottle design first. The Bruges Zot. They've obviously gone. They've gone for some sort of jester character, um, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Um, which is she has, she has. quite an interesting, <laughs> quite an interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Branding. Club. Yeah, I don't know where that's come from actually, because the the brewery itself, the the sign on the brewery outside um, doesn't have that on it at all. So no, I don't know where that's come from. At all, by the way, you're, you're about four hours. Late. Four hours late. No, but anyway. <laughs> Weird branding, but quite a but very distinctive. Yeah, yeah. Incredibly distinctive. Talk yeah. about the, the, the you know the brewery in Belgium has the gesture on it. The beer smells like a good blonde, yes. good blonde beer. Yeah, it smells really. like it's got it Belgian, smells like Belgian a, yeast. It smells like a lager, but it smells like a good lager. Yeah. Oh, fruity. Yeah, very got, fruity. It smells quite like a quality product, like not like um, generic crap that you get. I mean that one is. Market. I mean if you look at that that glass there, look at the carbonation. Like, it's very very good. It's still through. going. I mean, very it's, tight bubbles. Still so. going. Yeah, it's very friendly. Uh, should we go for the taste then? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you to it. Oh, typically Belgian. Um, fruitiness. Yeah. She's fine. She's actually got some. Sure, no, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's, 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 it's almost like a fruity lager. Yes. Almost. It's a bit like a fruity lager. A bit like a fruity lager. Like a fruity lager. Mm. I mean, luckily enough, for, for, you, for you Belgian pedants, the pub here does actually have the proper glasses. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It. What I love about it, it's smooth. It doesn't have a bit of a sharp, gacky taste like you get from some some, some lagers. Um, and it has a fruity back backbone to it. You can taste that on the back of your throat. It's, gore- it's a really lovely beer. It's really good. It's certainly a Belgian yeast yeah, character. Quality to product. It. You can fruity. Tell it, yeah. You can tell by drinking it, it's a quality product. Mm. It's a really good beer. Mm. I like that a lot. I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's, it has got that kind of... Um, mm. Uh, I do prefer it on keg, though I have to say. I mean, it's nice to have a bottle, but on keg, to me, it just pips so slightly. I've only have I've only ever had it before at the actual brewery itself. Oh, that's the best place to get it. Well, 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 to be honest with you, at the brewery you can get it unfiltered, which is just amazing. Yeah, yeah, an amazing, an amazing sort of experience to have it unfiltered. Um, but on keg, absolutely amazing as well. To be honest with you, yeah. I had it in the Lowlander with yourself uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, wasn't it? We did. In, in, London. in London. The we drank, Garden, we yeah. drank yeah. it through straws. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? No, we did. No, we did. <laughs> we did. I don't remember if we did. I, I, I have a picture. <laughs> oh, we did then. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember uh, that. So <laughs> it, it's a great beer. Um, yeah. It's not one you actually see a huge. You know, it's not. It's not one. I wouldn't call it no. one of the classic Belgian beers, but it is one you might see from time to time. Yeah, it appears There's, every now and again, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's worth having a go. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not your your double. They have it. It's not your Chimay, but it's. It's almost, it's almost it's almost one of those beers which is like a like a, a not a table beer but a house beer yeah yeah so yeah if you, you're so right if you get so if you go in a if you go in a bar in bruges or any of the towns around bruges what you're going to find is this will be a standard beer yeah. standard beer like we would get a standard bitter in this country yeah you know and it's but as far as standard beers go that is really good i mean it's not it's not it's not jupiter or anything like that which no. is you know the standard lager in uh, no, no, no. to me that's just like that's just like foster's Do now all, like all these reviews i have to ask does it pass the uh, the litmus test oh, which, which is which of course is this best than drinking ipa oh. 
Oh, yeah, almost certainly. I mean, I mean, yeah. it's a bit of a silly yeah. question to yeah. ask, but I mean, I haven't. Uh, the, the book is in my bag somewhere else. So I haven't got the tasting notes, but it really is a lovely, it's gorgeous. It's a lovely. Oh, it's a lovely beer. You know, it's, it's a great kind of fruity and surprisingly light. strong. Actually, it is strong. Yeah. It's, I mean, what percentage is it, Neil? Oh, this is six percent. Six percent. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't want to have too many of them. They are they are fairly pokey. So it's not a session beer. It's not. It tastes <laughs> like a session beer. Yeah, but, it's not. but it, it, oh, right. it, it has got it has got a reasonably anyway, light taste to it. So, before, but I can't remember where. It's James. James from where? James from Reading. Uh, this, we've got a, a him, new yeah. a new entrant. Certainly, there's trouble with doing a, a beer review in a new. pub that we're random people turn up. We're doing a little YouTube up. review uh, for Zot at the moment. Oh, yes, so, right, random turn up. Um, <laughs> I think we'll leave it there. We've reviewed this beer quite a lot. But someone else has turned up. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. <laughs>